Hiya, this is Natty and welcome back to Harmony Hollow. So today is super exciting because I think we're going to be able to start on our build. So we're not slash. Let's go to spawn straight away with our flu powder and head to the shop. So if you don't know, we placed an order with Delphron um, for some clay. Um, when I say some clay, we put in a wall. That went really laggy then. Um, it wasn't just a little bit of clay. We have ordered so much. And apparently, Delphro... Can we, should we have a little look around here? Community area. This is cute. I like this. Free hat stands. Take as many as you want. Oh my gosh. Okay, we don't need that many, but I am going to take some. Thank you so, so much. Large terry terracotta dill for Netty. Fee to be decided. Yes, look at this. Oh my gosh, we've got so much. So much. I'm going to have to put it in my uh, backpack, um, I think, because uh, we are not going to have enough room. I can't remember what button it is to press to make everything automatically go in. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to work that out at some point. We've got so much. Oh my gosh, I wonder how long this actually took him <laughs> to collect. Because <laughs> there's so much. So this is something where it's like, we could have done it, but it would have just taken so long. And so the fact that he said that he kind of had this business going, it just sort of made sense to ask for help. Um, oh, I don't have any wood to leave a sign. Um, I feel bad just leaving the chest there like that. I'm going to break the chest um, and the sign. Oh, wait, we've got a sign now. We'll leave a thank you. Thank you. From... This is really good, but we do have a lot of work to do, so we can't spend all our day shopping. We've got to head all the way back. I say head all the way back as if it's really far away, but um, obviously it's not. There we go, we're back. I'm going to put my flu powder in the special chest. Here we go. So at the moment, I guess we're going to have to clear the area a bit, um, because obviously if we're building here, um, the build is pretty big. Um, so we're going to flatten it out a little bit, get rid of some of these trees. Um, just, oh, if we press the, we've got to press the button, don't we? I always forget that. Um, then we can replant trees afterwards to make the area look a little bit better. Because at the moment, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start to look very, very bare. Um, I had started planting these trees because I wanted to save them. Um, but now, we're not actually needing them for our build. Um, which I'm a little bit sad about. Maybe we can use it somewhere on the inside. We'll have an area with it, or maybe we'll do like another build later on. We'll leave that tree on the edge. Um, I thought we were full up already then. I didn't seem to be picking stuff up. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the ones on the edges for now um, because I'm hoping, oh, was that our ax already? Oh my gosh, let's go get a better ax. Let's go and get a better ax because we have a lot to do. We need shovels and um, axes, right, here we go. Okay, so let's get back out here and start clearing it again. We might have to even move our house at some point. Um, but hopefully, because we've got the clay straight away, it should be quite quick to when we're actually kind of quite secure in our base. Um, and it will mean we'll have so much more room, which is going to make a huge difference. To be honest, it's not taking too long clearing this space, is it? Look at that squid with a foam finger. Whoop, didn't mean to fall in there. Um, but we are going to have to flatten the land a bit as well, um, which I think... Oh my gosh, look, that took all the shrubs off. That's funny. I didn't mean to do that then. Um, here we go, right. Grabbing this. There's a random floating bit there we don't want. I've just realised I haven't actually mentioned this episode so far, what it is I'm actually planning on building. I have mentioned it in other episodes, but if you haven't seen the other episodes, then I guess you're probably thinking like, what the heck does she need? all this terracotta for um so what we're doing because on the server there's a slight harry potter theme with flu network and people are doing some like kind of harry potter builds and things like that i've decided to do weasley's wizarding wheezes so that is the shop that fred and george have on harry in harry potter 
Um, and I'm kind of going off this image. So I'll show it in the video now, just so you've got an idea of what I'm going for. So it's kind of like the purpley bricks um, along with the red windows kind of thing. Um, and it's over a few floors. So that's what I'm hoping to do. Obviously within Minecraft, you're limited with shapes and things you can do um, unless you go really, really blooming big. Um, so obviously we can't go too, too big. Um, so this is how I'm attempting to do it hopefully you guys will agree that I'm kind of on the right track um, obviously we don't have the character built at the moment um, but I do plan on trying to do something with that I have actually done a few attempts in a creative world so I've actually built some of this in a creative world as well and a few attempts off the character but I'm not 100% happy with it so if anyone has any suggestions please 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 feel free to let me know in the comments and um, if not I'm gonna keep trying it but I want to get the main build done just so we can have like an actual home an actual base um, and then we can kind of work from there so um, obviously we're this is like a sped up video you guys don't know this is this has taken me like overall this whole recording is two hours and 15 minutes long so obviously I've cut cut it down quite a lot but that's only because it's such big bulk things I'm doing like all the walls all the floor and things like that that are obviously very very repetitive um so normally if I ever do a sped up video I wouldn't normally cut out such large chunks but this time um, just because otherwise it's the same thing over and over again and um, we're gonna need to go and get some more wood at some point I didn't want to take all the wood by Salem's house but it was oak wood we needed um, but then we did plant a lot of saplings so hopefully it's all gonna be back so we're gonna have to go back there and get some more wood at some point point. Um, but hopefully all those saplings will grow back otherwise Salem will be like I've got my base right by a forest <laughs> and then it's like the whole forest is gone but we did replant the saplings so at the moment the sides obviously just look like a big bulk of purple um, but that will change there will be windows and details and stuff around on the outside but I just kind of wanted to get the inside kind of done so we've got the different floors just so we can get rid of our base that we have at the moment and we can move over all our chests and things like that so that's my kind of like plan of action at the moment um even though we haven't got it that far so what i imagine like inside for weasley's wizarding weezers is like you've got like the main shop floor and then i want this balcony bit so on this balcony there'll be different things so in this shop slash house that I'm having the two bottom floors are going to be technically shop and then the top two floors will be my home and I'm planning on the roof having a farm so I'm hoping we'll have everything there so on the shop floor I think I'm going to have like the enchantment tables books um maybe some spells some cool post like uh, my potion area and things like that so then it's all like the kind of magical like I imagine I always think of potions and enchanting as quite magical the fact that you can put an enchantment on your weapon or something like that so um that's why i'm kind of having that stuff kind of on the bottom floor and then like our bed and things upstairs but i'm kind of quite pleased with what we've done i'm probably going to do some of the building off camera um just just like the main bulk stuff but we'll do all the detail stuff like on camera whether it's on stream or within a video um probably more likely stream I would imagine but I guess if we have a quick look at it now from afar and we can see what it is that we've actually achieved here today so I think you can kind of see what it is I'm trying to achieve here I think it will look a lot better once we've gotten rid of our base but first I'm gonna have to get more wood um, because at the moment uh, so down here is obviously where it's kind of like the Weasley store um, and then as you go up to the second floor as well. So our house isn't actually gonna be until we get to this floor and the floor above. Um, and so until I can move the chests over to here, um, we kind of have to keep that little base down there. But once we get rid of that, we can work on the front and stuff a bit more as well. Um, obviously we've got a lot more building to do. Um, I have actually been on here recording now for, let me just have a look, two hours and 16 minutes just doing this. Um, so it's taken quite a long time. Um, and so I am gonna have to stop it there. Even though it doesn't look like we've achieved very much, I think 
once um, the main build is done, everything else will then go really, really quickly. We're going to have the flu network to bring us to the doorstep here. Um, and once we have like the detail going all the way around, it won't look like such a big, mm. massive purple block. Um, I, I do think it looks more purple than light blue. I know this is light blue clay, um, but I personally think it's more purple um, and more to the color of what we want it to be. I'm going to go up over here just so we can see it a bit from like further away. Um, let's go up in a tree maybe. Can we get up here somewhere? We'll have to use some dirt. We'll use some dirt, we'll get on up um, and have a look at it. So it's obviously very big and very purple. We'll work around like the detail around the outside. So, and we've obviously got a lot more windows and stuff to add around the side. So that will um, make it look a bit less like a big purple block, but you can kind of see it coming together. Should we go around to the front a bit more and look at it from afar as well? Um, can we get across? Uh, maybe if we jump over here. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you can guys, like after seeing um, the image I'm sort of working with, and then seeing what it is I've done so far. I hope you can see like we have kind of achieved. Let's just build up here. I'm just going to build up really high here. <laughs> There's a nice thing is having no fall damage whilst building. I definitely would have died a few times whilst doing this. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see it coming together slowly but surely. I'm thinking of having a farm on the roof as well. Um, and we'll do the front and the sides, like making that look a little bit more fancy. But yeah, I'm, qu I'm quite pleased with it so far. But um, we should have turned the ooh, wrong button. Oh, wrong button again. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Um, maybe if we go to the side a little bit more, actually. Oh, I can't see where I'm placing now. If we go across here, we'll get rid of this dirt in a bit, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just like casually building, ruining the view. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see it here. Like, I might leave this here for a bit, just so as we keep building, um, we'll be able to see it. But I think it's starting to look a bit like the Weasley's house. Well, the Weasley shop. Um, and we're going to add some signs. I'm going to play about with Deco Craft a bit more um, and get some extra little things that you wouldn't normally get to have in Minecraft. So it's quite exciting for me because it's my first time doing Deco Craft. Um, but yeah, so guys, thank you very, very much for joining me today. And I'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.